today I am going to tell you about the types of life cycle. Basically, there are three types of life cycles. One is called uniphasic, another biphasic, and triphasic life cycle. Uniphasic life cycle is also called as the haplobiotic life cycle. Haplo does not mean haploid. If the biotome it comes after haplo, it means only one. Okay. So if uh, in the life cycle of the organism, if only one phase is present, only one distinct phase. Distinct phase means the multicellular and long life phase is present. It is called the haplobiotic life cycle. Haplo means one one phase is distinct then it is called the haplobiontic life cycle this distinct phase it may be the haploid or diploid if the distinct phase is haploid phase then that type of haplobiontic life cycle is called as the haplontic life cycle example of haplontic life cycle is spirogyra in spirogyra only one distinct phase is there, only one multicellular and long life stage is the filamentous body of uh, Spirogyra. Then Spirogyra, basically body of Spirogyra is haploid and that is the only di distinct stage of the life cycle. That's why the life cycle of Spirogyra is haplontic life cycle. If distinct phase is deployed in haplobiotic life cycle, it is called as diplo diplontic life cycle and the example is sargassum sargassum is a brown algae which is which has diploid body that is that's why its life cycle is haplontic and second is biphasic life cycle biphasic life cycle there are two distinct phases two multicellular phases are there that is also called the diplobiotic life cycle. Diplobiotic life cycle means there are two distinct phases in the life cycle. These distinct phases may be similar distinct phases. I mean similar means haploid haploid or diploid diploid. If diplobiotic life cycle it has sporic meiosis in the life cycle, then it is called a the haplodiplontic life cycle. Haplodiplontic life cycle is found in the plants with two distinct phases and sporic meiosis. And the, this type of life cycle is found in case of bryophyta, pteridophyta, gymnosperm, and angiosperm. And the third type of life cycle is called the triphasic life cycle. In triphasic life cycle, there are three distinct phases. These three distinct phases may be similar, means all are haploid or some are haploid or some are diploid. The triphasic life cycle is found in case of Batrachiospermum. In Batrachiospermum, there, there are three distinct phases. These distinct phases are main plant body of Batrachiospermum. This is haploid. And another haploid phase of the Batrachiospermum is Carposporophyte. And the third one is Chantantria stage of batrachiosperm that is also haploid. So they are all together. There are three types of life cycle: haplobiontic, which has only one distinct phase; diplobiontic, which has two distinct phases; and the triphasic life cycle, which has three distinct phases. So last ma, evada kurathi mela vannu parsa. Bryophyta. In case of bryophyta, normally life cycle of Marchensia bhangratimela is shodhi bhangratimela normally dherele haplobiontic bhangratimela so it is not haplobiontic haplobiontic term is used for the uniphasic life cycle in case of Marchensia, funeria, fawn there are two distinct phases one is the gametophyte and the sporophyte and they have sporic meiosis that's why it is diplobiontic and diplobiontic kukoni this is haplo diplontic life cycle. Okay, that's all for today.